item right now I'm going to be demoing is our HDMI 1x2 extender splitter. The part number for this is R01 SPL HSL 102B. Now this takes one HDMI input and sends out two outputs. The equipment I'll be using it will be two of the same Samsung HDTV monitors and a Blu-ray player, a Sony Blu-ray player. Additionally, I'll also be using a 150 feet CAT6 cable and a 150 feet CAT5E cable. Our product will work with both, so I'm just going to demo showing you both. Now, also, since this is only a transmitter unit, you also be using. I'll also be required to use a receiver unit, which is sold separately. The receiver unit, the part number for this is. R01 EXT HSL RX RX. So first you will want to plug in the HDMI input or HDMI cable from the source, which is the player, like so. And then the power. Now once you do that, you notice on you will notice on the other end, both lights come on, the green and the orange. The green signals power is going through, and the orange is the actual video signals being sent broadcasted. And then, so first, then the next thing you want to do is using the Cat6 cable, plug one end into the output, into output one, say. Now on the other end, you'll be using the receiver and put the other end of the cable into the input. Same with power. And once you do, you'll notice both the green and the orange light coming on. So you're saying, so power beam, is, this box is being, actually being powered as the signal, the video signal is coming from the transmitter to the actual box unit. And lastly, plug in the HDMI cable into the output of the box. So, now give it a few minutes, let it run, and you'll see it coming on. Now, if you find the picture right now like a little, as you can hear, it's a little bit choppy. That is because certain cable and length has different frequency pattern. So our our receivers actually do have like a EQ setting. EQ that you adjust to. So change it right now. Like I put it out right now, I put it at EQ2 and you notice the, the sound is all crisp, no more that jumpiness. And Notice the display we're playing at. It's 1080, 60 hertz. Now, that's one. Let me connect the second one for you. So, the second one I'll be using a Cat5e cable. Same thing, 150 feet. So, plug it into the output of the output two of the transmitter unit. Now, on this side, I'll also be using another receiver. So, plug the other, other end of the Cat5 cable to the input and the power and same as before you notice green and orange are coming on so signal is going through and lastly you will want to plug in the HDMI cable to the output of the box and give it a few minutes and there you go and you notice on this one also comes on and there's and there's also EQ setting, and you notice the sound jump a little, so support go to either here you go higher or lower depending on the cable length and cable type. So I put I actually did lower, and back to the I also put on EQ two, and you'll hear you notice sound, crisp, nice and crisp, no jumping, no anything, and video we're playing at 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p, 60 hertz, and also 12 bit deep color. I notice the 
their images are the same thing. The only difference is this one is being just broadcasted over Cat 5, and this is being broadcasted over Cat 6.